five, four, three, two, one. And we have ignition. And we have liftoff of Antares, 3 mission, delivering Cygnus on its third CRS mission to the ISS. Got main engines at 108%. AVI powered on. The possibility that trouble may develop with the Atlas or the Redstone during the countdown or during the takeoff is looked squarely in the eye by the astronauts and the engineers behind Project Mercury. This booster was not a Mercury vehicle, but imagine the worst possible situation for the astronaut, that his capsule is now mounted on top of this Atlas. The escape rocket takes the capsule away from the booster. Allumage. Décollage. Thirty-seven seconds into the launch, the onboard computers decided 501 was 90 degrees off course. proceeded according to plan for some distance. During this time, the missile was stable in pitch, yaw, and roll. Then a failure occurred involving one engine. And shortly thereafter, another engine also lost power. It was therefore necessary for the range safety officer to destroy the missile by remote control. from the missile fell on the test base and in the sea just offshore from the base. Nearly all critical components were recovered. These parts and data radioed to the ground during flight were studied to isolate the exact cause of the trouble.
One in five Titan rockets fail. Tough odds if you're a rocket man. Minus ten. Eight. Seven. Six. six five. Four. Three. Two. One. Ignition sequence start and liftoff of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. Adding to the International Space Station access for future American rockets. And Falcon has cleared the tower. Stage one propulsion is nominal. Vehicles programming downrange. Stage one propulsion is active. Power to operation nominal. Power to operation remain nominal. Impact chill has begun. T plus two minutes, altitude 32 kilometers, speed one kilometer per second, downrange distance 13 kilometers. Eddie coming back, shows the vehicle on course, on track. After nearly a year's delay posed by its liquid hydrogen fuel, the mighty Centaur is on its pad at Cape Canaveral for a maiden flight. It is to be boosted into space by an Atlas for a 15-minute flight, a flight scheduled to study the performance of the temperamental hydrogen fuel. The Centaur is designed to put a payload of more than a ton on the moon or a thousand pounds in the vicinity of Mars or Venus. The first few seconds of the shoot go without incident. The Centaur climbs to 30,000 feet, then malfunction. The immediate cause of the explosion is not known, but if it happened in the Atlas booster, it means a probable delay for the next U.S. orbital flight by astronaut Malcolm Carpenter. Long lens cameras capture pieces of the wrecked missile falling into the sea, falling like a wounded bird. However, in the race for space, scientists find progress in every failure. In this case, there were no human casualties. The catastrophe was not the result of individual carelessness, but it could have been. In a situation with human lives at stake, disaster is a potential, and lives are at stake, even your life, wherever toxic propellants are handled. 